built like a samosa. Yes. What do you think? It burns, doesn't <laughs> it? I went down. <laughs> I went down the wrong way. Are we eating raw noodles right now? Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, guys. How are we doing? <laughs> We're here in Brampton, Ontario, Canada, yes. at your parents' basement, in the basement apartment. Indeed. And it's exciting because we're going to be doing something fun today. Mm -hmm. huh? So we're going to be doing an Indian snacks taste test yes. to go along with the India video series that we've been releasing. So we're going to be taste testing uh, 10 different Indian food items. Mm -hmm. And we just picked those up at the grocery store. In fact, yeah. there's a really big grocery store, an Indian grocery store, just three blocks from this house. There is. We didn't yeah. even have to drive. We just walked. No, we just walked over there. We just walked. It was what, like maybe a 10 minute walk? Yeah. What's it called? It's called the Asian Food Center. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided to cap it off at 10, but honestly, yeah. we could have brought over like 50 yeah, snacks because there yeah. is a huge selection in that store. I'd say, I'd say a hundred. Yeah. I think we're being modest <laughs> here. I think we could have brought a hundred snacks. Oh, but it just man. shows us we'll probably do more of these. It's basically a combination of, of savory and sweet Indian yeah, snacks. Yeah, exactly. We decided we were going to buy 10. And like after the first two minutes of being in the store, we already had eight in our cart. I'm like, oh, yeah. we're going to stop, Audrey. We're going to go through all the different aisles. Yeah, that's just how much variety there is. But mm -hmm. I can't wait to try everything. Um, and there are a few things that I do recognize from our yes. previous trips to India and others that are completely new and foreign to me. So it'll yeah. be fun trying these. What What's the most recognizable thing for you? Oh, I think the masala yeah, chips. Same here. The chips. So we actually have shared memory of, of, yeah. of having this. Where, where, where do you associate this from? I remember remember like the overnight train rides exactly. and just like loading up on snacks. Exactly. Mainly so, masala chips. Yeah, so we, it was almost uh, almost always every time we took a train ride in yeah. India, we would get these chips. They're the uh, joyful magic masala flavor yeah. Lay's. Yeah, you can pick them up at the, at the train station. Super cheap. You can actually see the price here. This one is 20 rupees. And you know what's interesting is that each country tends to have like its own chip flavor. Mm -hmm. Like here in Canada, it's all about the ketchup chips. I'm pretty right. sure you can't get it in the US, just in Canada, ketchup chips, and in yeah. India, masala chips. Yeah. But okay, before we go through all the snacks, I thought that we could make ourselves a cup of tea because Ooh. one of the things we bought is chai, masala chai, and it's instant chai latte. Oh, so, awesome. how about that? Why don't we start with that? That's great. So I, we've already boiled the kettle. Yes, so we're we good, have. Good in that regard. Ten in a box. Here's yours. Unsweetened, it says. Zero sugar, just add get, hot water. You have spices, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, clove, and black pepper. Ooh. And yes, it contains milk. Okay, let's open this. I'm sachets. having trouble opening this. I feel like I'm gonna need scissors unless you can do it. My, mine work fine. But mine doesn't. Oh, okay, there we go. Pour this into our cups. Yeah, as such. And we'll get some hot water. Oh, you gotta, sm what you gotta smell oh. it. Oh man, you smell. Oh, it smells good. I smell the ginger. So I smell. I smell the ginger and the cinnamon really well. So. I got a hair in my eye. Ready for your water? <gasps> this is boiling water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm moving away from Sam uh, because uh, he's clumsy. Audrey doesn't trust me. I've already knocked down the set. We yeah. have we have lights behind us. And, and like the tripod. I tripped, I tripped on the cord. I almost knocked our camera down. Oh, thank, man. thank goodness that didn't fall. But I knocked one of the lights down. And uh, yeah. It smells so nice. I'm having a bit of a clumsy, uncoordinated day. Cheers. Cheers. Tea time. Tea time. It is mid-afternoon, so it's like our mid-afternoon break. Yeah, it's the perfect time. Oh, the aromas are just sensational. Yes. Wow. And this reminds me of like having chai when we were riding the trains yeah. as well. When you'd pull okay. into a stop and they oh. come on board, yeah. sell chai. The, with the chai wall, is chai, 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 chai. They'd be coming to the, you know, down yeah. the aisle. And we would drink like an impressive amount of chai. Yes. By the time our train trip was over, we called it a, a stack of chai, like a mountain oh, of chai cups. Oh, we had all the little paper cups. Yeah, yeah like a little one, tower. One on top of the other. It yeah. was like a the leaning tower of, uh, of, of chai. Yeah, leaning tower <laughs> of chai. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, and I like yeah. it unsweetened. Yeah, me too. That's good. I mean, typically when, when we've had it in India, it it's has been very sweet. It, it has been sweetened, but it, it's fine on its own. I feel like we should start with something mm. sweet, perhaps some cookies, since we've already got the chai going, you know, start dunking them in. Sounds good. What do you think? What about this? Why don't we start with this? Sure. 
So this is Methi Atta cookies, Fenu Greek wheat cookies. And it says it tastes even better than it looks. Yeah, zero trans fat and cholesterol. Okay, so it comes in two packs. This yeah. is one of them. So the Methi Atta, it kind of looks like these little green leaves. I wonder what it'll taste like. What, it, what comes to mind? Ooh. It smells like spices. Yeah, it does. Mmm. Okay. Nice. They're crunchy and buttery. That's my, the mm -hmm. first impression I have. I like these. Yeah, they're not overly sweet. I would I would describe them being as like they have a little bit more of a buttery taste. Yeah, yeah. Than, than a sugary they're taste. They're like buttery cookies and like perfect for tea or coffee. I would say perfect for dunking. Really, who are we kidding? Like this is what I want to be doing. So it's all done. Mm. <laughs> I really like these. Like, mm -hmm. give me a nice cup of chai and a box of these cookies these would have been great on the on the train rides huh with our yeah. chives and it's nice how the chai resets your palate too that's going to be great as we continue this taste <laughs> we're going to use it as our palate cleanser guys next. one down nine to go what do you want to try next well let's go with an old familiar favorite okay the chippies Chippies. joyful magic masala lace. i'm excited Ooh. for these i like flavored chips yeah, just... I like trying new flavors of chips. It's been so long since we've had these, so mm -hmm. like, it's also going to be like rediscovering them for the first time. Oh, this smells awesome. Yeah, it does bring yeah. back memories, all these yeah. aromas. <laughs> We're hey, we could, we, could, we could be on a train. You know, one of my favorite train rides ever was um, when we went from Delhi to Jaisalmer. What a journey that is. Mm. Super long overnight. Uh -huh. um, the scenery changes completely by the time you arrive in Jaisalmer. You're in, you're the, in the desert. You're in the desert. Mm -hmm. It's a whole Ooh, new. I like these. Oh, that yeah. Ma a magic masala. Oh, and you mm. feel a little bit of a burn in the back. Ooh, delayed onset with the yeah, spice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is a real deal. It's authentic. I want right. more. If you want like an, it's basically an explosion of, of, of flavors and ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Those chippies. Yum. <laughs> oh, you just, you guys come out of my head. I, 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 feel, I feel like watching Netflix or something with these. <laughs> and for those of you who have been watching the India series so far with Sam and David, mm -hmm. a few people have asked, where's Audrey? Why didn't Audrey go? There she is. I'm here. But mm -hmm. honestly, it was a boys trip and yeah. these two guys planned it so last minute and well, so quickly. In, in all fairness, David had, had planned it uh, mm -hmm. well in advance, but mm -hmm. um, it was so nice of him to invite mm -hmm. me on the trip. Um, yeah. it, I, I think I got ready within just a few weeks. I ended up going with David on that trip. And yeah. It was awesome. Like We have so many more episodes to come out. What we're planning on doing actually is we're going to be filming a lot of videos together about um, India related content and we couldn't be in a better location right now because Brampton has a has a really big Indian population here yeah. in Canada and that means lots of amazing Indian restaurants yeah. and Indian markets like right. the food here in Brampton is really good so we'll we'll do some takeaways because restaurants obviously aren't open yeah. at the moment to, to dine in we're also gonna attempt trying some Indian cooking for the first time Ooh. So yeah, there's a, there's a, there's gonna be a lot of Indian content, which mm -hmm. will involve not just me, but you too. I'll be around. But I have been to India before, twice, twice. actually. So it's not like I skipped out on the whole trip and I haven't experienced it. Mm -hmm. My first trip I did to India was actually with my sister and we went for a family friend's wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Also my boss. It was my <laughs> boss's daughter's wedding where he was like family. What was your job um, back then? I was working at a cafe. Oh, yeah, and cool. he was the, the yeah, chef. This, this is before we met, and yeah. I I also did a big trip to India before we met. That was actually one of the one of the best um, trips I've ever done, and we're actually going to be telling stories from our past India mm. trips. So I'll go I'll go more into that in in another episode. Let's do one more savory one. How about these? Awesome. So oh. this is called spicy para spicy wheat flour chips. They look like this. They're kind of like square chips. Oh man, I should have here. Oh, I'm gonna let Sam open it. I should have brought scissors from the kitchen. Oh, it's not look good. Ooh, that smell. Again, the smells, the you aromas. Know what? Oh, it smells gosh. a bit like a samosa. Yes. What do you think? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. I wonder if it's like the samosa dough, and it's just like the little pieces have been chopped and fried. It, it definitely could, it, smells it, that it, way. It could be. If it is, please let us know. Cheers. Cheers. Boop. You know what? It, it, it does. It tastes like the corners of a samosa. All you need is a sauce, 
Green sauce, oops, red sauce, a spicy sauce. Yeah, exactly. This, this, would go, this would go great with the chutneys. Or even like a yogurt sauce. Because this has got a lot of spice, like it packs some punch. Yeah, that's good. So far, I've honestly liked everything. That's like three out of three. My turn to choose. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going for something real sweet. Ooh, okay. Fudge. Indian fudge, guys. Indian okay. fudge. And this so is called... called Besan Borfi. Besan Borfi. It's chickpea fudge. Ooh, wow. okay. Wow. Wow. Super interesting. I've only ever had like milk fudge, milk and chocolate fudge. This is like the real deal. Like this is like thick fudge. Like this is heavy in the hand. And this was the one thing that your mom was telling us she wanted to try them. Oh on. yeah, Did yeah. Because when we, we came preview? back with the groceries, Sam was showing her everything we got She's, and she was like, ooh. Yeah, she was like, I uh, haven't had fudge. Yeah, we're not going to, I'm not going to eat the whole square. And guys, let me tell you, Sam loves fudge. Like he is yeah. obsessed. While you eat, I can share some embarrassing stories. <laughs> Go ahead. Like there, there have been occasions, like we also have fudge here in Canada, but it's like maple syrup flavored. And especially around the holiday time, it's really popular. And Sam has bought fudge, like whole bricks to give away as yeah. gifts. And then he's eaten them all. They didn't make it. They it's didn't make it. They never made it to they, the recipient. They didn't make it to the recipient, no. which is usually my parents. <laughs> yeah, or my parents. Like the fudge just never arrives here. Didn't arrive. It's like crumbly. It's, That's it, nice. Yeah, it's very different from uh, North American or, 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 yeah. or, or UK style fudge. I find the texture a little bit, it's a little bit lighter and more crumbly. Mm -hmm. Crumbly and like almost a little bit grainy. Yeah. Not sandy because it's not oh. dry. It's a smoother mm -hmm. texture than the fudge I normally have. And you kind of have to look for the chickpea flavor because I associate chickpeas with savory dishes. So I was yeah. kind of like, ooh, what's this going to taste like? But it's it's like a little hint in the yeah. back. You do taste the chickpeas, it, but sweet. It's not it, it's not abundantly sweet though. It's a subtle sweetness, mm -hmm. isn't it? Which means you can eat more. You can eat more fudge. Mm. Like honestly, Sam could probably make this disappear <laughs> in one afternoon, in one sitting. Are are we kidding maybe, or not? Maybe it's not gonna make it upstairs <laughs> to, your, to your parents. That's really good. That's very interesting. This is actually my first time trying something like this. I like it. I do too. There's a lot of good Indian sweets. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember on the trip I did with David, we had some uh, we had some amazing sweets in Kolkata. That's gonna be an episode coming up. Mm -hmm. And then we also had some really good sweets in Ahmedabad. Okay. Which was our final stop. You know, this yeah. also, I feel like there's like a little hint of almond. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I, like I, I marzipan? Get, I, 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 I get that almond marzipan kind of feel. Four out of four. When, right. when, when are we gonna find something we don't like? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, I'd like to try this one next. It's another sweet, the Shakar Pare. Mm -hmm. What does it say? It just says authentic Indian sweets. Lightly sugar-coated crunchy squares. You can see the the sugar granules covering it. Yeah. Yeah. This one looks like it's gonna be very sweet. You got that? Okay. Let me tell ya. And a lot of these are from the company. We've got a couple of things from Bikinier. The Bikinier Sweet Bikinier? Factory. Okay, Those at first dense. glance, it reminds me of gnocchi, the pasta, <laughs> like that kind of shape. Yeah, like giant gnocchi. <laughs> giant gnocchi, but solid and coated yeah. in sugar. I can feel the feel the sugar on my hand. Mm. That one's quite sweet. Mm -hmm. It's not bready. It's it's heavier than a bread mm -hmm. in the middle. That, go, that goes really well unusual. with chai. Yeah, it would go well with chai. I'm trying to find something to compare it to, like the bready part in yeah, the middle. Yeah, me too. Like, I'm just, I'm drawing it, I'm drawing like? a blank, yeah. to be honest. Dense, too. It's dense, yeah. Yeah. The thing is, if I had a choice between this and uh, an Indian fudge, I would go for the Indian fudge. For me, I prefer when things are like sweet throughout. With this one, I feel like it's a little like bland in the middle, but then lots of sugar coating it yeah so it's not quite even so i find it like too sugary when i first bite into it yeah out of, out of everything we've tried this i'd probably rank this in, in last place but it's it's i still i still enjoy it though i would still eat it though that's the uh, yeah thing. <laughs> no, as, as i'm biting that's another one thing. all right my, my turn all right so we've had sweets so let's go for the peri peri so these are these are really light these are Roasted makhana, gorgon nuts. Gorgon nut or fox nut? Gorgon or fox nut. And Never heard of it. Comes with peri peri seasoning. Peri yes. peri is usually used for chicken, no? Like a spicy chicken seasoning? Yeah. yeah. I feel like at Nando's they have <laughs> peri peri chicken. <laughs> That's what comes yeah. to mind first. Okay. So, Let's open it. Let's open it. 
So th this one comes with a really easy to open pair. And it's resealable. It's also resealable too. That's good. Smell it. Oh yeah, you smell the, the sniff test. The sniff test is pretty Oh, this is gonna be savory. I thought yeah. this was gonna be sweet. No, no, peri peri. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought it was gonna be like sweet no, and this, spicy. I was trying. I was trying to alternate ah. after. Because that, that last one was really really sweet. It reminds me of puffed corn. Yeah. Or like puffed rice. It's exactly like Ooh, that. Ooh, I like the peri peri seasoning. The seasoning is great. Oh yeah. It's a familiar texture to popcorn. Pop rice. That's yeah, I feel like I want to keep this in the basement <laughs> and keep it as my snack. Oh. It burns, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it's went down, that went down the wrong way. It burns in the back here. That? Ooh. That was the bag of the masala masala chip lays. Mm -hmm. That that would be mm -hmm. my. I'm more into I'm more into savory and spicy things now than, than sweet. Maybe five ten yeah. years ago, I was more of a sweets person. But you give me this, and a bag of that yeah. those lays, and I'm Ooh. I'm good. This would be a good train snack as well. Yes, definitely. This Isn't might be my number one <laughs> so far. Really. Okay, I feel like we need to go for something sweet next yeah. because that's still burning. Um, that looks sweet. Okay. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm wondering, have we made a mistake here? This is called Sago Savia Wafer. It's a colored wafer. But I wonder if you're meant to eat it with like something sweet, like a syrup or honey. It could be, or it could be similar to uh, a jalebi where you That's just, what I'm thinking. Yeah. But aren't those usually like soaked in well, syrup? Let's look at the ingredients. Oh, so it's tapioca, which is sago. And okay. then there's the, the food coloring. Also, oh, can I get a top up for my tea? Yeah. <laughs> Some yeah. more water, please. Do you want another do you want another tea bag? No, I'm gonna water that one down a bit. There we go. There you go. I really like the tea. The chai is good. Oh, pick your color. Pink. Pink. Looks like this. I'll go with yellow. <laughs> we have no idea if we're supposed to be eating it like this or not. Oh my gosh. Come on, show you. Is this cooked? Are we eating raw noodles right now? We're definitely doing this wrong. <laughs> it was in the <laughs> snack section. It was like when the snack section turns to pasta. Wow. I feel like we need to Google this. You know what? What I, have we done wrong? I think what you may have to... Yeah, we're not wafer? supposed to be eating it like this. Sago wafer? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. What have we done, guys? There, there are recipe here. recipes here. So we are obviously supposed to do something with it. And... Not eat it in, in this state. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what we're meant to do with it, but I feel like, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm eating raw noodles. Oh man, so that, that's the one, that's the one fail the for one. us for sure. I, everything else for sure I know we can eat. Yeah, no. well that's no. embarrassing. That's hilarious. Th that's showing, that's showing our innocence here. We are trying yeah. new things. This was in the section where like the wall literally goes from snacks. That's what happened and I was like, oh, looks colorful. Oh. Looks like chips. <laughs> not. Okay. So we were trying to have something sweet. Let's go with this then. Yeah. We, we, we know, we know, we know what we're getting here. <laughs> Cookies. So these are called black bourbon cream sandwiches with okay. vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. So these are probably going to taste, they look a little bit like an Oreo, but in the shape of a, of a rectangle, not a circle. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Looks like it's got lots of cream in the middle. Ooh. Oh, it's got sugar granules. Oh. Look at that. It does smell like an Oreo. Will it taste yeah. like an Oreo? Wait some more. Tastes like an Oreo. I love Oreos. This is good. I love mm -hmm. Oreos, so this is a this is a familiar familiar taste for us. Yeah, whenever we buy like a, a pack of Oreos to treat ourselves to a little snack, mm -hmm. it usually vanishes within twelve hours. Six hours, dare I say? It doesn't make it past. It does. That it, night. It, it, it it doesn't make it through the night. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Very good. Black bourbon. Since we're on a roll to cookies, why don't we try these? These are coconut cookies. Mm. My from, favorite type of cookie. From Surati brand. Ta-da! Ooh, nice and big. Okay. Those look like crumbly cookies. They do look crumbly. Look at that. I still have some chai left. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see if we can taste the coconut. I would say the coconut flavor is very mild. It's mild, but I do taste that. Oh, those are perfect for the chai. Perfect for Duncan mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Dunk, wait, look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buttery. Mm -hmm. Right? 
Crunchy and, and buttery. buttery. Nice for dunking. They are good. I think my mom's really gonna like these. Yeah, these are yeah. these are one of the best sweets we've had so far. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like did you try any amazing sweets on your last trip to India that we are yet to see that you're like, ooh, I could totally yeah. have some of that right now. Oh man, so many. There's a lot of things that we tried with pistachios. Okay. So yeah, wait wait till you see what we have coming up. It, all the some of those best episodes are actually gonna be near the end of the series. Mm -hmm. We're in one of those two different cities in Kolkata and Ahmedabad. Okay. If you're into sweets, well, stay tuned. Speaking of pistachios, this dessert right here appears to have pistachio nuts on top. This one is Papti Swan Plander, maybe Swan Papti. One papti. Let's call it papti. Papti. And it says Indian sweets. That's yep. that's the description you get. So let's just open it's it. It's in a very colorful package. I wonder if it'll be like the little, you know, bird's nest dessert that yeah. sometimes you can get in, in Turkey and other places in the Middle East. Oh, it's got a seal on it. Ooh. Look at that. The freshness. Are we going to need a spoon for this? Let's find out as we lift. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Oh, it is broken into pieces. Look. Okay, wanna dig in? <laughs> Ooh, it's Is it mushy? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need something gonna to need color. We're gonna need a lever. Or or like this. Yeah. Oh my oh. gosh. That's, oh wow. It breaks apart. It's oh my apart. gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh it's so fine. Yeah. Mmm. And it mm. just melts. It disintegrates yeah. in your mouth. It reminds me of cotton candy. Mmm. I've had this before. Yeah, me too. This is very Ooh. familiar. And oh. you can taste the pistachios and the yeah. almonds. Oh, this is and so good. sugar. Ooh. Wow. My mom's gonna like this too. My yeah. mom has a major sweet tooth, so as soon as we take this upstairs... Mm. Number <laughs> one ingredient is sugar. Mm. So. This is very good. Like, out of the sweets, I'm trying to think, is this my favorite? I think this even tops the bourbon I, I, I think this is the like this is the richest sweet we've had. It's just like little feathery strings of yeah. sugar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The texture reminds me a bit of like a con candy. It's so fragile, such a fragile yeah. dessert. I can tell why it's been like packed yeah. so carefully. It's fragile, fragile and shaved. So, mm. hey, we we ended off with one of the best sweets. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it makes up for this. <laughs> I know we, okay, we had we some total that. fails and then some really wonderful surprises. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, fun. this is it. Bakuri. Last but not least, bakori. Gram flour snack to enjoy with savory yogurt. Mm. We do not have savory yogurt, so no, we're just gonna try it as it is. So, we have some creamy sauces upstairs, like onion dip and chipotle. So maybe yeah. we'll take it up upstairs later and like yeah. dunk it. Wow, well, look how big that piece is. It looks like, it look, the shape, it looks like ginger, like skinny ginger. Uh. Oh, wow, very crunchy. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor on its no. own. This is like a delivery stick for sa saucer dip. Yeah. Have you had a great, like they said, they suggested with yogurt. Yeah. I would, I, 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 I would, I would eat this with, with, uh, with different chutneys. I would eat this with something spicy, a spicy sauce too. Curry. I feel like if you're at a party and they've got a table full of snacks, this would be there for yeah, dipping. For dipping. <laughs> Mix it up a little bit. You dunk it in something. Yeah. On, on its, own, its own? On its own, it's unspectacular. Unspectacular. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to eat chips, which have a bit a bit more flavor, a bit more of a yeah. cake. I'm gonna, let's go back to our familiar mm. favorite for our last bite. This one. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Number one, number two. Oh. No, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm loving these chips. Yeah, so since we're here in Canada quarantining, what we've been doing for fun is cooking and eating. Mm -hmm. We've made we've made Spanish food, Italian food, Argentine food, and we want to try making Indian food. So if you have a suggestion of a dish yeah. we should try making at home, something that's like relatively easy for beginners, don't send us the most complicated recipe. Yeah, we may start off with curries and naan because that would be uh, that would be something we could easily do. You know what I want to make? What? I saw that they sell the pani puri, the little ones yeah. in the supermarket. Yeah. So I want to try making, you know, like what goes in it. Yeah. And then we can enjoy. It'll be fun. Maybe we can try some North and South Indian dishes. Yeah, in the, so leave us your, your suggestions yeah. and we'll pick some recipes. Actually, you guys can vote on the recipes. So if you see a good suggestion in the comments, yeah. give that one a like. And give whichever like. gets the most votes, maybe we'll choose that's a great one idea. of the top ones. So we know people want to see that one. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. So yeah, 
That was fun. So that yeah. was tasty. Wraps up I'm our Indian snack taste test here in mm -hmm. Canada. We tried 10 different things. Nine, oh. nine were edible on their own. The, oh. the other one, we're still this unsure. One, not Please so let us know how, how you prepare what this. What are we meant to do with this? It's so it's such a nice color. I have a feeling if it's if it's if it's done a certain way, it would be yeah. good. Yeah, thanks for uh -huh. watching and stay tuned because we're gonna alternate between going back to the India series that I filmed with David and also coming back to episodes that we filmed together. For anyone who's been asking where's Audrey, she'll be appearing plenty on the channel as well. Indeed. Alright, well, have a good day guys. Thanks guys. See you later.